Guys, what's going on? I am officially back. It's been a long time. I haven't posted, I think maybe for seven months now, but a lot of stuff has been going on. I've been busy with work. A new member of the Wolf Pack, my son, he's eight months old now. So I've been busy with that, but I finally decided to come back. Uh, I think it was time. I've noticed that I still get views on my channel. That motivated myself to just come back. Just the passion that I have for die cast cars. Um, still been collecting and recently just decided to start doing videos so today we are going to do some hunting go to some stores see what we can find and see how that goes so let's go so i found a new case uh, it's new to me probably not to you guys it's been a while since i started collecting again main lines found the morris and the porsche cayenne and then look what i found porsche 911 gt3 cup 992 it's been a while since I collected uh, Majorettes. That chrome finish looks beautiful. Let's see what else we can find. Yeah, but look at that. Three stacks. Unfortunately, no treasure hunt, no super. Looks like somebody's been there. These look nice. I don't think I'm gonna get them today, but eventually I wanna have this in my collections. Look what's up here. So that Bugatti. This one's nice, look at that. We got the Countach. Taking that. I don't remember if I have this one. Then we got the Toyota Toyota bus. All right, guys. So let's do a recap for the main lines. What I was pretty excited about is the the Porsche 911 Rally. That thing looks clean. Off road, uh, off road look on this Porsche. What else we got here? So then I ended up picking up the Dodge Viper, the 92, the 64 Chevy Chevelle SS. The Toyota GR8 86 Cup, that thing looking good. And then the Nissan 180SX, that thing is looking super clean. Just the taillights in the back, no headlights. And then the Lambo Huracan, I love my Lambos. And then we ended up picking up the BMW M3 Wagon Recolor. It was blue, now it's red. The 68 Dodge Dart, the 23 Ram 15, Porsche 904, that's a recolor. And then the Studebaker Champ, I think that's a recolor too. I think it was brown before. And then the King Cuda, because I love my Barracudas. We got the Chevy Love, the Merc, and then we got the Stingray. And then for the moving parts, we ended up getting, or I ended up getting, the 1956 Morris Minor. I love my old school cars. I had to pick this one up. I do have the main lines for the Matchbox, I think green and silver. So this goes well now that I got the moving parts edition. And you can't pass up a Porsche. You got the Taycan GTS Sport with the opening doors. And last but not least, some majorettes. Some to add to my collection. You got the Lamborghini Countach LP400. Open that one up. That thing looks beautiful with the opening doors. And then this baby, we got the Chrome Porsche 911 GT3 Cup 992. And I'm not sure what that little, I think that's a black, it looks like a black box to put your car in there. They usually come in in these like little cardboard boxes, but this one looks more of a plastic. So can't wait to see what that looks like. But yeah, I wasn't expecting a haul this big, but then again, I've been out of the game for a while. Picking up some um, premium cars here and there, not too much main lines. So I did not bring my cart, which is my number one rule. So I ended up carrying all this by hand. But it's all good. Let's go on to the next door. There's a Walmart across the street. So let's see what that looks like. So Walmart now changed where the die cast are, so it's all over the place. So here we are. Let's see. So nothing new. This one looks like it's been picked. All right, so this Walmart, uh, it looks like it's been picked through or nothing new has come in. They do have these. I love Auto Worlds, but I'm more of an import type of guy. I do collect American, but not the newer stuff. Yeah, so that Walmart, they didn't have anything, but I like to keep this stuff like this in the video to show you guys that not every store you're gonna you're gonna have a win. For those of you that have been in the game for a long time, I'm sure you know this. For those of you guys that are about to start or just started, um, that's what it looks like the majority of the time. You walk in and there's there's nothing 
empty pegs, stuff that's been there for a while. It's pretty much a normal day. So let's uh, head to another store, see if we get any more luck. All right guys, may not look like a huge win, but I did find this Ford Custom. I have the red one. They got a recall of the blue. And I can't say no to these uh, utility the SUV police cars. I got a few of these. This one I don't have. And you can't go wrong with a Red Bull and a Snickers. So let's keep going. So I love this plaza because you got Dollar Tree right there. And then you got Walmart over there. So you check here. And then you just walk over to Walmart and check over there. So they got this one. The Lotus. Definitely taking that one. Oh, we got the Opal just sitting there. Oh, look at this one right here. The Morgan Plus 4. Looks like that Indiana Jones car. Oh, look at that. We got the Infinity QX80. So this is the one I was telling you guys. The first recolor. Or not the recolor, the actual original color. If you guys play the Hot Wheels game, this is my go-to car in the game. 24-7. All right, so they did have a new box in the back. I thought I hit record, but it didn't. But I went through it. Uh, they do not have a super, but they do have the treasure hunt. This is the um, the Camaro. It should be it should be this one. They do not have it. All of these I have. Yeah, all these I got. There's the Green Continental. That white Audi. I think these are the exclusives right here. The store exclusive. So no luck there. For some reason, these super treasure hunt gods, they don't like me. So I don't know what it is that I angered the super treasure hunt gods, but um, I thought I had it in the bag with that box. Uh, they, they no super treasures, just the treasure hunt. Uh, I don't know if you guys can believe me, but I only have one super treasure hunt. That's it. I got lucky in a, in a Dollar General. It was the, I'm gonna put it up on the screen, but it was the, um, the gold Fiat. So let's see if Walmart can give us something. So check this out. So you know somebody was here when you see this. <laughs> this is all the old stuff. It's nothing new. Oh, this is pretty cool. Look at that. That is the T-Bird. Got the McLaren F1s. Oh, look at that. We got the Corolla. I'm definitely taking this one. Looks like somebody couldn't afford that one. We got the Mazda. So yesterday I ended up picking up this one. Uh, and the Porsche. Safaris, Safaris, and then they got the the Bel Air. So the only one I'm missing from this one is the Civic, which I'm sure everybody's grabbing those. What else we got? I got that one. Love my 007 portal cars. What else we got? I already got the Javelin. This one's nice. I got that one. I got that bad boy up there. I got the Mercedes. Oh, look at this. This thing's sick. The Cadillac convertible. Dude, that thing is a beauty. I'm taking that one. I just picked this one up in uh, Dollar Tree. Same thing with the Lotus. So this Walmart got all the premiums on the other side of the aisle. Let's see what they pull. So pick this one up. I do need the, the Nissan Z. I do have the Lambo. I wanna pick this up, but for my wife, she's a Mustang fan. She also collects. So we got the Aston Martin. The No Time to Die. Let's see what else we got. 
We got that one. See the Auto Worlds. That's a beautiful color. Oh, look at that. You got the van. You got a Z back there. It's pretty sick. I wonder if they got the that sliding door. That would be awesome if they had that sliding door. I got some Fast and Furious in the back. I got those. This Hellcat looks nice, but I'm gonna pass on it. Got the Johnny Lightnings. These pony sets look nice. The classic pony cars, but this is the, the Camaro. Mm, I'm not a. Mm, I'm gonna take it. I'm a sucker for Camaros. Gotta take that one. That's the Mercury. That's the Cougar, but I'm gonna stick with the Camaro. Uh, so this is all. Uh, this is all the newer Auto Worlds. We got another one. Oh, this is sick. They got the Nas. I would get these, but I just don't have any space for them. That hollow looks nice, though. The Nas. I don't know. I, I gotta think about it. Oh, this one's beautiful, too. So I'm looking good, guys, right now. Uh, it feels that way probably because I haven't collected heavily in a while. So we just picked up all these from Walmart. Uh, this one's a pretty cool one right here. And some of these. Dollar Tree. Uh, I want to stop in one more, maybe one or two more stores. See if um, we can pick up anything, anything good, any missing, any missing cars from the series, from any series. For example, uh, I would love to have that Nissan 240SX. I'm not a completionist. I'm not a really big fan of that Mustang. It looks nice, but uh, just I got it only because my wife she likes Mustangs. She likes to collect, so I ended up getting that one. But if it was, uh, if it was up to me, I would get these, these four. So this one I like. I actually found the full Fast and Furious set with the Nissan Skyline, the Ford RS. So, kind of feel good about this one. Pretty empty here. Oh, look at this one. Take that one. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What do we have in the back? We got that Chevy. We have no Toyota, that's the only one I'm looking for. I'm looking for the Toyota Land Cruiser. So they got a whole section off to the side. You know what's funny is that when it first came out, these were so hard to find. I ended up finding one in the Barnes & Nobles for like $12. What? And then look at them, they're like everywhere. I've seen these everywhere now. So sometimes you just gotta be patient. And eventually they start popping out again. Got the Ninja Turtles. So ever since I've been seeing these, I have found the Scout, pretty much all of these, except for the Land Cruiser, and maybe I saw the Golf Country. But I wonder if this Land Cruiser is the one that um, is maybe like one per box or something like that. Because they got the they got these. You don't really see these. You see a ton of these everywhere. I mean, I don't want to call it a chase because you know some people get a little. They get these feelings hurt, but it is the one that's hard to find. Yeah, there's one more, one more Walmart I want to check out before we call it a day. Fortunately, this Walmart was a bust. All right, guys, can we get lucky? See what I'm talking about? Look at that. There's a ton of these. Oh, I do want to take this one. It's got the Porsche. It's got that nice Mustang. And the Lambo. Pretty empty as of... I haven't seen any new five packs that caught my eye. So far my favorite one is the one with the Civic. The Japanese five pack with the Skyline in it. This one is my second favorite. It's got the police Subi. All right, let's check out the other side. We got a bunch of Auto Worlds. Oh, look at that, the Toyota Celica. 
Celica Supra. Definitely taking that one. Bunch of M2s. Oh, that's pretty nice. Yeah, look at that. See, they got a bunch of plumber, plumber vans. Bunch of Mercedes. They still got these. Look at these. They can't get rid of these. Yes, today was a good day. I ended up finding this one, the Toyota Celica Supra from Auto World. Yeah, it's kind of rare that you find imports with Auto World. Mostly they're all American, newer cars. And here we got the five pack, the Porsche. Got the Mustang and the Lamborghini, the pace car. So we got the stash right there. I'll make some more videos about what we, uh, of what I picked up. But other than that, guys, you'll be seeing more videos. So keep on the lookout. In the meantime, look at some of these videos. Let me know in the comments what you're collecting right now. Auto Worlds, Hot Wheels, Matchbox. What's your go? What's your go-to collection right now? Let me know in the comments, guys. Take care.